Hey guys, it was Bambi TV. Guys, we're gonna be reacting to Snitch Boy Silence, his feminist teacher. Guys, let's get straight into this. Uh, the definition of feminism is equality between men and women, if you look it up on Google. In this presentation, I'm going to prove to you that that in 2016 is not the case. There was a first wave of feminism, the suffragettes who campaigned for the vote and for equality and then there was second wave feminism in around the 60s campaigning for equality in sort of in domestic gender roles and things like that so and then recently there's been a third wave third wave feminism who have consistently lied about things for example the wage Thanks. gap between men and women that is a lie 77 cents to the dollar is a lie it doesn't take into account the different hours worked by men and women on average in jobs. It doesn't take into account the different jobs that men and women do. And it doesn't take into account a many, many other factors. Once you factor all these in, it is statistically irrelevant. Preach. The wage gap. This is just one example of the lies that have been <laughs> perpetrated by modern third wave feminism. Yeah. They hate free speech. They don't like it when their opinions are challenged. They try to ban words like bossy and they try to ban things on Twitter. They try to ban people from having their opinion. They don't like other people's opinions. The imbalances on people have flipped and feminism says that it's about equality, but I've never once seen a feminist campaign against the fact that on average, women, if they were a man, they get two years, three years in jail. But if it happens the other way around, it's 20 years. Surely if they're about equality, shouldn't it be the same for both genders? But gender Thanks. imbalances include the massive side rate of men under 30. I've never heard a feminist or a third wave feminist once speak about how bad this is. It's not about equality. It's not. It's about lying. Thank you very much. Any questions? <laughs> boy, that boy spit facts and he's got some balls to do that in a school. I could just tell all his boys were looking at him giggling, thinking, shit, man, you're going to get in some trouble. And it's sad that you will get in trouble for spitting facts these days because people can't take uh, it. Like he says, if you've got a different opinion or if you challenge people's opinions, people start calling you hateful and saying you're attacking them. If it was really about equality, then they'd also talk about male problems, but they don't. All they do is try and victimise women. <laughs> Do you see yourself as a feminist? Was no, the Harry, I would not because I don't believe. Well, I believe in equality, but I don't believe in feminism because I believe that that's not about equality. Originally, feminism was created because there was an imbalance. Yeah. And originally, it was the, the imbalance between men and women. This is the, the teacher. The idea now is not feminism being an imbalance of gender, but being equality of all. Um, you talk a lot about men versus women, but what about people who? themselves transgender what about people that perhaps don't identify with a gender at all that is a completely different topic the fuck is she on about this boy speaks like a future leader or some shit i wouldn't mess with him if i was her let's see how this goes in relation to what how they should be perceived by the society do they not count in the idea of fem feminism well, no, because feminism, if you look up the definition, which if you ask a feminist, they'll always refer you to, is about the, the push for women's rights and equality between men and women. If I call myself a feminist, I wouldn't say that I battle for the rights of women. I would say I battle for the rights of equality. Good for you. That's you personally. He's talking about it in general and how the word's being redefined and it's not about equality for people. It's about certain women making up lies so they get special privileges. So when we talk about the shift of language and definitions, is it not fair to say that definitions shift and change depending on the needs within society? Well, just because you say you are something doesn't mean that that's what the movement is about. So. I could say that I'm a, a radical jihadist. Doesn't mean that I'm a radical jihadist. <laughs> nah, this kid's too good, man. Yeah, you can say like... that you're something, but the movement doesn't necessarily represent that. If you're, if you say that, Facts. if you say that you're about equality for all, most of them isn't about equality for all. It's about equality between um, men and women. That's what modern feminism is about. For example, with the wage gap, they haven't. When they give you the wage gap statistics, 77 cents to the dollar, they don't mention other people who may not identify with the gender or people who identify themselves as trans. So the, I would say that there is equally a disparity between class systems. There is, so if you are born into a certain class of family, your income equates to a certain amount. She's changing it again. How you're born, which is a very similar thing to do with gender. Do you think that that is as much of an issue 
if not more so, or less so, than gender inequality. She's just pulling out questions out of her ass because he keeps scolding her. She doesn't know what to say. So now she's just pulling out questions out of her ass. And I'm not saying it's a bad question or not an interesting question, but it's got nothing to do with what he was talking about. Well, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about gender inequality and how it's misrepresented by feminism because they're saying that they're for gender <laughs> equality when they're actually not. Okay, so what are your thoughts on inequality in general, including the classes? <sighs> well... Ideally, I would like to eradicate all inequalities, but you, I'm not going to do that by calling myself a feminist. Boom! Drop the mic. He smashed it, he hit the nail on the head, and he proved at the end that he's smarter than the teacher. She was asking him questions that had absolutely nothing to do with the presentation. And it's funny, actually, because if you look back at the feminist movement, there was a lot of women that didn't even want it to happen. A lot of them didn't yeah. want to go to war and fight. They wanted to stay at home. How about that? How can we say we were disadvantaged before when we didn't have to fight in wars? The men were the ones that had to go fight in wars. We'll say my body, my choice all day, but we'll never talk about their body, their choice when they get drafted. Women, The majority of women didn't even want the right to vote because it came with the responsibility of getting drafted. So most girls are like, I'm a chill in the kitchen. And I absolutely would chill in the ch kitchen if that was the same thing today. One of the things that frustrates me the most about modern feminism is the way that it kind of makes men feel like they shouldn't be men or that masculine traits are toxic. Well, I'm here to tell you fuck that and to be proud of your masculinity and embrace it. Guys, for those with us, and I think he said it though, like he, he really went out for his teacher, but I feel he was speaking truth and he was stating facts and there's yeah, nothing more to say in this video, like I feel he stated facts and his teacher was like, I feel she was just trying to be, she was trying to know where he stands or she was trying to see thoughts in him, but like I love the fact that he was clear about what, he, he did research, he was clear and he knew what like, he knew the right thing to say, and he did say the right thing. Well, guys, anyway, think about this video, just just like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bless.